You know, proper maintenance of a water heater is not something that most people do. The manufacturer recommends that you drain a few quarts of water from this thing at least once a month. And the reason for that is, is because settling at the bottom of the tank of uh, things like hard water deposits or any material suspended in the water is not uncommon. And over time, those materials can build and build, reducing the capacity and the efficiency of your water heater. So it's a good idea that once a month, you drain a few quarts of water out of this thing. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I do it. While you're draining the water, it's also a good idea to exercise this pressure release valve. This little relief valve has an important job in that when the pressure inside this tank reaches a unsafe level, this uh, little valve will automatically open and relieve that pressure so that the water can escape and go down into your drain pan without causing the tank itself just to rupture and uh, cause a you know, catastrophic problem. We're using an electric water heater, so the first thing we wanna do is locate the circuit breaker for the water heater and turn it off. Next, you wanna turn off the cold water supply to the water heater. At one of the faucets, you wanna go ahead and turn the hot water on. Next, you're gonna to want to attach a hose to the drain uh, valve down here at the bottom. One of the things that I like to use is just a washer uh, supply hose. I'll show you how. Most of your clothes washers have a hose that will work already. You'll just need to disconnect it from the uh, water supply and the inlet. I've connected the hose to the drain valve, but you can also use a water hose. You just wanna make sure whatever you use is long enough to reach the drain. Uh, so the water has a place to go. Next, you'll want to use a flat tip screwdriver, or in this case, I've got a multi-tool, to rotate the valve counterclockwise. If the water doesn't come out forcefully, then go ahead and lift the relief valve on the tank to allow air to enter the tank and re relieve the vapor lock that's keeping it from draining. And then your water should begin to drain into your drain and then out. Keep in mind that the water coming out can be really hot. It's a hot water heater, so you might scald yourself. Be real uh, aware of the temperature of the water and keep your hands away from it to avoid burning yourself. When the water stops flowing, go ahead and shut the valve by turning it clockwise, and then you can disconnect your hose. If you open the pressure relief valve, go ahead and close it now. Go ahead and turn your cold water supply back on. There may be air bubbles for a while coming out of your hot water supply. Go, so go ahead and turn that on, allow it to run a little while. It might spray and, and spit for a minute, but eventually it should uh, turn into just a steady stream of water. Once your water heater has had a chance to refill, you can go ahead and turn the power breaker back on. I use the Ream Classic Series uh, Professional as a uh, example. But you always want to refer to your water heater's um, exact uh, use and care manual. Please like and subscribe if this video helped you out. I appreciate you watching.